17 people are out of a home after fire gutted their Sterling home over the weekend. This large extended family includes seven young children. Peggy Fox caught up with the homeowner who is thankful no one was hurt, not even the family pet who was in the spot where the fire started. The owner of this home that went up in flames on Sunday is now meeting with one of those restoration guys, but it looks like it is completely gutted inside, like nothing's left. The good news is all 17 people who lived here are okay. It was right by that corner right there. That's where the fire started Sunday evening. Luckily, Wakar Shah had taken his family out for dinner. He got a call from a neighbor that his house was on fire. By the time we got here, you know, the, the fire brigades and ambulances were all the way at the stop sign. Shaw lives here with extended family members, his parents, two brothers and their families. That's 10 adults and seven small children in all. Everything's gone. Yeah, everything's You've gone. You've lost everything. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. That's a pretty heavy blow. It is, it is. They built the house in 2006. And finally had everything was complete. Everything complete was family. just right. Yep, <laughs> everything was right. And then, you know, everything's gone. 10, 15 minutes. It just happened mm -hmm. that all 17 people were yeah. gone Yeah. on a Sunday night. Yeah. And you were telling me how you think it started. Remember that corner behind the house? That's where a doghouse used to be. Shaw's brother had a heat lamp in the doghouse that caught the dog's bedding on fire. But what happened to the dog? I had they escaped, luckily, the somehow. The dog escaped? Yes. Wow. Yes, my brother, uh, who keeps the dog, he came over, he tried to find it, he couldn't find it, he asked a fireman, they thought we didn't see any dog. By the time he went back to his car, it was, the, uh, the dog was without the leash, standing by his car. St oh, yeah. he knew where the car was. I oh, guess, yeah. wow. Yeah. So there's some silver linings. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, we can, we can take the positive out of this that yeah. we are all safe. Yeah. We're all safe. Um, and that, that's the best thing can happen, to be honest, from this kind of fire. Yes. In Sterling, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. And Wakar Shah says he's just amazed at the community support. We've got information on how you can help on our WUSA 9 News app.